So it's a Friday night, or maybe a Thursday, depending on where you are in the world. And the last thing that you probably have on your mind is to be sitting down and doing some study of any kind. I mean, who does that anyway? Um, well, I actually really like studying in the evenings. Well, anyway, apart from you. So most of us, after a long day of work, school, studying, really just want to sit down and chill with some Netflix, am I right? Even on a Friday or Saturday night, after you've had a long week, either you're going out with friends, maybe you're doing a bit of reading, I don't know, I would, but very often we're probably just going to chill out with a nice movie and with our significant other, those of us who don't have one, well, we're just going to watch it by ourselves. But anyway, if you do feel like being productive and doing something that's kind of more passive with your language learning, then you want to hit up Netflix. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to learn languages with Netflix and it's going to change your life. So let's get into it. Alright, so here is how we use Netflix for language learning. I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways depending on if you're a beginner learner or if you're an advanced learner. And what you're about to see is exactly how I personally use Netflix for languages. So I'm going to show you one with a language that I'm a complete beginner in and how I use Netflix to kind of freshen up the other languages that I'm more advanced in, like French and Spanish and whatever. And also, this of course doesn't just go for Netflix, but it's also for, you know, when you're watching movies on TV, on the plane, DVDs, anything like that. So the best case scenario is that you find an actual show or a movie already in your target language. If you don't find this on Netflix, YouTube also has tons of movies and shows, YouTube videos, things like that for you to use in your target language. Now, of course, if they don't have subtitles, it can get a bit tricky, but I can guarantee you that for the majority of languages, you will find videos with subtitles. First step, find the show in your target language. Very simple. What you can do in the search bar at the top is just put in French or German, Spanish, Italian, whatever. And I found for me, it actually just shows the shows that are already in the target language. So I put in French and watched the French movie and all I needed to do was just put in the word French. Next step, well depending now on your level in the language, what I would do, and this is regardless of if I'm a beginner or if I'm an advanced speaker, well actually that kind of depends on the language that I'm learning, but anyway, what you would do is you will watch it actually in the target language. This is kind of more of your active watching. So you'll watch it in your target language and then you will have subtitles on in your native language. And here you're, it's a really good tool to listen to how the language actually sounds. It's melody, the intonation, and it helps you later on with your pronunciation as well. Plus, with the subtitles, you're also learning the meaning of what is being said. Now, sometimes none of this will correlate, like especially if, say, if I were to watch a video in, you know, Mandarin Chinese, and it had English subtitles, I wouldn't of course be able to guess like which, like what word means this or what word, you know, how the words correspond to each other. But for example, when I'm watching things in Swedish, it's quite easy for me because I speak German and English and Swedish is kind of a perfect mixture of both in my opinion. So another tip you'll hear quite often is to pick a series that you've already seen, let's say I'll take How I Met Your Mother and watch that in your target language. Now. To be honest, I personally don't really want to re-watch a movie or re-watch a series unless it's really good. So let's say um, I would take like a series like How I Met Your Mother, which has, you know, like nine seasons, so many episodes, and of course I can't remember everything that I've, you know, that was said in a particular episode. So in turn, it's kind of almost like watching something completely new, because obviously unless you watch the show like ten times over and over, in your target, like in your native language, then you probably don't actually know exactly all of the, you know, lines of every single cast member. But anyway, this is another good thing because when you already know the plot um, and you do find the show interesting, you can just watch it in your target language and you start picking up, you know, phrases where you know, ah, oh, okay, he said like, have a great day in that scene, so have a great day must be like, have ein schönen Tag, for example. The third thing you can do is watch the movie or the show that you're watching in English already or in your native language if your native language isn't English and just have the subtitles in your target language on. So this is what I sometimes do when I kind of, you know, I want to just chill out, not really have my brain working too much, but still kind of want to have that little twist and 
actually feel like I'm being productive and you know practicing my languages so that's what I would do and major major tip here I have literally done this ever since I started learning languages like when I was a kid and I didn't even realize that you know this was any type of method what I would do is I would pause it not after every single phrase or after every single you know time anyone stopped talking and the scene changed but I would pause it and just have like a notebook or a piece of paper next to me and write down those useful phrases that you know you're going to need. Well, let's say expressions, um, especially as if, if you're an advanced learner and you are kind of at that stage where you need to build up your vocabulary, expand your vocabulary and not be consistently using the same phrases over and over and you want to you know, vary your speech, then this is a really good tip because when you're listening to those native speakers, you will often pick up phrases and colloquialisms that you know a native speaker would use in that particular country that you might actually never learn if you were learning just by you know listening to a podcast or reading a book a textbook or you're in class so that's a really really good tip and then the final step is of course to enjoy enjoy the series enjoy the movie chill out and have fun because that's what netflix is there for netflix and chill is a thing for a reason but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and also i just wanted to say a massive massive thank you Kvala, merci gracias grazie obrigada pal dias pasiba shukran guys thank you so 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 much for 10k subscribers i can't believe 10,000 of you you know have my face on your youtube starter page and it's oh, it's an incredible feeling so thank you guys and expect to see a lot more content a lot more exciting things coming from the busy linguist and otherwise i will see you guys in my next video bis dann leute und habt einen schönen tag